you believe that if you took the totality of the Gospels and the claims Jesus makes about himself, and I suppose you went on and looked at what Paul believed about Jesus and the early Christians, for you there's an inescapable conclusion that Jesus did say things about himself that equated himself with God, put himself on a level pegging with God, as you say, claimed the divine name in, mm-hmm. in that sense. And, and so for you, there there is a clear um De- deity here that is what we're talking about when we're talking about jesus right exactly um, and i'd argue also that we can demonstrate historically that jesus considered himself to be god and, and taught his followers that he was god with a very high probability so- uh my uh my basic case in uh in my book, How Jesus Became God, and that I presented last night, is as follows. Um, I don't think that Jesus himself called himself God during his public ministry. I personally don't think Jesus imagined he was God. He wasn't God. He was God's prophet. Uh, The historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not not demand worship. Uh, the historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not not demand worship. Uh, The reason that early Christians treated him as divine, uh, early Jewish believers treated him as divine and worshipped him was because they believed that God had exalted him to heavenly glory and now required him to be treated that way. The Christological claims of the New Testament and the devotional practice of the New Testament are heavily focused on Jesus, but they have a fundamentally theocentric basis. They believed that God had done certain things, raising, exalting, confirming, and conferring upon Jesus, curioship. Uh, the historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not, de- did not demand worship.